so our Christmas special starts in downtown Bentonville. We're underneath the Preacher's Son restaurant. This is Undercroft. I've been here many times, but I've never seen it looking like this. The bar has been transformed into a new bar, the Miracle on 2nd Street. I cannot wait to tell you about this one. Now joined by bar manager Jonathan. Jonathan, the first thing you see when you walk in here is bling, Christmas, and change. If you've ever been to Undercroft before, it's pretty impressive. No, definitely. Um, it is a shock from the minute you walk down the stairs. Yeah, so um, what? tell me about some of the time and effort it took to uh, kind of make that transformation. Totally. Um, one of our uh, bartenders, Roxy Erickson, um, also is, uh, has an art degree and loves her design. And she has a few mural murals downtown Bentonville. And so we knew when she wanted to take on this project, it was going to be a, a great finished project when she was done. And she took the time for the last probably about two months kind of getting the items through either donation to the community of some of the things that they don't use anymore in their Christmas decorations. She worked with a lot of local thrift stores as well to accumulate a lot of these like just honestly more, you know, old school, just kind of what your grandma used to put up for Christmas right. in the 80s or right. anything like that. Yeah. Um, and this vision she just brought together took um, a whole day, about 14 to 15 hours on a Sunday, just kind of execute all of this. Well, I want to talk more about the decorations because I love the vintage element because a lot of that stuff reminds mm -hmm. you of when you were a kid. But, you know, obviously we're here to talk about Miracle. We're here to talk about the collaboration between Miracle and Undercroft. First, tell me a little bit about the organization Miracle. Definitely. Greg Bohm and Nico DeSoto um, were working in 2014 to open their new bar, Mace, in the East Village of New York City. And they were working on doing construction and getting that together. And uh, Greg got a call from his mother and said, hey, let's just hold off construction on January. I want you to do a Christmas pop-up bar. And so in the space before they even built their bar, they did a Christmas pop-up bar during the month of December. Um, throughout the next few years, they started doing a few more pop-ups. And here we are here, and it's across the world, um, over 100 locations. So once you start you know, investigating Miracle and their pop-up bars, the first thing you notice is they're usually in big markets. You know, I mean, it's kind of cool that Northwest Arkansas has something that typically you can only find. You mentioned it started in New York, but other places like D.C. and, the, you know, the coasts and Austin and stuff like that. Definitely. Yeah, the, um, from what I understand, this is probably one of the smallest, if not the smallest market that they've done it in. And um, they're super happy to have us. I mean, we are, we are seeing big city numbers um, just down here in this bar specifically um, because of Miracle Pop-Up. I mean, it's just people love Christmas in general and then when we have something awesome to offer like this. Yeah. Well, you mentioned how long it's been kind of in the works, you know, so what's it like for you and the staff to see it come to fruition? Not to, not to only see it decorated, but then to see its impact. Oh, it's been awesome. The excitement with the staff has been great. Um, we really felt it when we started our training and then especially starting the decorating, everybody was just getting in the mood. We're still not tired of Christmas songs yet, so <laughs> that's great. Um, I think it helps also we're, with the amount of people that are here that are just happy to be here. It's right. just a great atmosphere to be in. We, we have a lot of returning visitors. We have people that just laugh when they walk in. They're like, I was here three days ago. I was here a week ago. <laughs> right. um, they just love the atmosphere. It, it helps that the drinks are fantastic. Um, they're having, I mean, the, lo the locals are having a great time. Every time they have someone in town, they want to bring them the miracle. Speaking of drinks, I hear you got a pretty good bartender today that's going to show us around. Brandon is a guy that can do some wonder back there. Definitely. Oh, yes. He's very talented. Maybe some miracle spirits? That'd know? be great. No, definitely. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. Brandon, thanks for letting me behind the bar, Hey, man. welcome to Miracle on 2nd Street. Yes, sir. Brandon is the beverage director at Rope Swing Hospitality, but this bar is brand new. It used to be Undercroft until a few days ago. Now it's the Miracle on 2nd Street. Absolutely, yes. It was a complete transformation. And then Miracle, I mean, it's been going on for a long time. Luckily, Arkansas gets it for the first time, right? Yeah, yeah, this is great. So it's been going on since 2014. And uh, yeah, in 2019 now, Arkansas is, is, is finally on board. So yeah, it's, it's been an amazing process and journey so far. It's really in other markets that are bigger than our market, but it seems like NWA does that. You know, they get cool stuff because- Oh yeah, why, why shouldn't we get the right. cool stuff, right? That's right. My favorite is the old school light up Santa over there. Now, yeah. He would be proud of your mustache. I'm not sure about your beard, but he'd be proud it's, of your mustache. <laughs> I'm working on it. It's yeah. not quite there yet, right, but right, you know, right. by the 24th of <laughs> December, you'll, I'll, I'll be Santa Claus. So. <laughs> well, today we're going to spin up some libations, yes. some specialty libations that the menu has changed for this. And uh, give me your two best, if you will. Yeah, absolutely. Well, two best, the two ones that I am really a, fa a fan of uh, is the Koala La 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 La. <laughs> 
All right. Can't wait to see it. If you yeah. need any help, just let me know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's a gin-based cocktail, All right. similar to a gin gimlet, but we use a pine needle uh, cordial in that. So actual pine needles, we steep that, make a tea out of that, and then add the, the sugar aspect, and it's it's very Christmassy. It's Christmas wow. in a glass, so All we'll right. get started with that. So okay. did you come up with the specialty drinks, and how did you learn to make this particular one? So I, I did not. Uh, actually, so Joanne Spiegel and Nico DeSoto, uh, two of the people with Miracle in New York City, um, they created these cocktails. Okay. I actually got to go out to New York uh, for two days and learn from them uh, how to make these cocktails. Uh, a group of us for first time Miracle uh, participants. It was an amazing uh, two days to get to know kind of the, the philosophy of Miracle, uh, the concept, how it was started, and then got to hang out and make great drinks in New York City for two days. So That's cool. It, it keeps it, it kind of consistent with all their pop-ups in terms of the Miracle. Absolutely. So yeah, if you were to go anywhere across the country, uh, to a Miracle pop-up bar, you're gonna have these all, uh, same delicious cocktails. Now we're gonna add the pine tea cordial. We make this in-house. All of the infusions, all of the syrups and everything are made uh, by our talented bar manager and staff here at wow. the Undercroft or at Miracle on Second Street, I should say. Yeah, get it straight, man, come on. Then we're gonna <laughs> add some eucalyptus bitters, about three dashes Water. of that, which uh, comes from uh, the koala la la la, a koala aspect of the name, comes from the eucalyptus bitters here. I'm gonna stir this up. All right. Straight into this beautiful miracle glass there. Wow. A lot of different flavors in there, it seems like. And then we're gonna garnish. With oh, there it is, okay. The koala. Now, do you actually drink it with the koala on? Absolutely. All right. Mind there if I give it a shot? Please, I wish you would. Okay. The koala la la la. La 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 la. Oh wow, that is really good. It's really nice, huh? That is really, really good. A lot of a lot of variation in the flavors. It's very refreshing. It's like Christmas, right? And I, you know, I think you can really tell when the ingredients, everything is made in-house. You talked about the infusions and then the presentation, of course, is what sets it off, right? Absolutely, yeah. All of the glassware, the presentation, the flavors, everything is so well thought out and just screams Christmas.